guys! In today's video, I'm interviewing the amazing Chloe Brotheridge, who has just released this fab book, The Anxiety Solution, and she's basically a hypnotherapist and an anxiety specialist. <laughs> So much for coming Chloe and um, how are you doing? I'm good thank yeah. you, I'm good. How cool, yeah I'm good, I'm really excited to speak to you. So I just, if it's alright with you, would you mind just telling everybody a little bit about what you do first? Yes, yeah, so I help people with anxiety and I mainly use hypnotherapy but my book is all about practical things that we can do in our daily lives to feel calmer and to feel more confident. Amazing, which is what we all need. Yes, we all basically need Yes, it. And, definitely. Um, yes, yeah, so many of us are anxious these days. Yeah. About 28% of young Ooh. women say that they're anxious all or most of the time. Oh my God. So it's a big, big deal. Yeah, so people need you, basically, yeah. every day. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> cool. So can you tell me, like, what are some of the challenges that you have on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, so I... Probably like a lot of people that have their own business and yeah. work themselves, there's this challenge between wanting to create things, wanting to work hard, wanting to help lots of people and also needing to take care of yourself. And yes, I think it's, it's that fine that balance, balance, definitely. Yeah. And I, you know, have one of my main messages that I talk about is sort of putting your well-being as your number one priority. Mm -hmm. And that's what I try and live, but it doesn't always no. happen. But I try my best. Okay. So. so and so obviously running your own business is, is very hard at times. How does that affect your energy in any way? Yeah, so I I love early nights to be honest. Yes. I have, <laughs> Me too. I Get to, to bed say, early, always. I'm sorry to say, but I'm a morning person. Okay. Which people find annoying that aren't morning mm -hmm. people, but I love early nights. I have to get early nights. Otherwise, I yeah. my energy levels dip, and I'm addicted to hot chocolate. Actually, okay. you that's your thing. That. No, but if that's your you thing, it gets you to sleep, does it? I have it in the morning to okay. get me going in the morning. So I gave yeah. up. I gave up coffee maybe five years ago or okay. so. But now I have chocolate, so I don't know what you, your nutritional opinion. Well, yeah, well, there's no caffeine in the hot chocolate, and yeah. it's the caffeine that gives you that. You know that anxiety, those yeah. sort of that stimmy feeling. So a better swap, I would yeah, say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're running your business and things, and it gets a bit stressful, is there anything that you do, or you know, to manage your stress levels? So there's something called self-soothing that I really like to do, and that just basically means using all of your senses to communicate a sense of calm. Basically, mm -hmm. so it might mean having things that smell really nice. So I love mm. having candles, and I'm always sloshing essential oils over myself. Oh, wow. It might mean, you know, wearing some really comfy socks while you're working. Okay. It might mean, you know, drinking a milky drink or something mm -hmm. or having a bar. So any way that you can use your senses to kind of calm yourself down. That's, that's actually, I've that's never heard of that to. before. That's a really good tip. Because yeah. actually that's a lot easier than sort of taking 10 minutes out of your day to go and do some meditation. Yeah. So, yeah, but exactly. do you use meditation as well to calm down? Anything like that? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I was really resistant to meditating mm. for ages. I was yeah. telling myself I don't have time. Yeah. I've got stuff to do. Who has time just yeah. to sit there? Yeah. But now it's a completely non-negotiable thing that yeah. I do. So I do have a mantra and I say Ooh. that to myself every okay. morning for twenty minutes. Oh wow! And that's yeah, amazing. And so that's your ritual, and 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 would you say that's your tool? you know, that you, you use and you go to, like, that basically means that you don't burn out and when you're, so that you, you know, prevent yourself from stressing. Would you say that was your tool? Absolutely, yeah. 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 Okay. I, um, 20 minutes. Wouldn't wow. do without it. Every now and again, I I think, oh, I'm fine. I don't need to meditate. Yeah. And the stress levels start to creep up again. And yeah. so I get back into that routine. Yeah. So it's definitely okay. a tool that helps. And do you have any tips for anybody who's new to meditation, who's a bit, you know, they know they've got to do it, but they just can't quite get round to doing it because, you know, there's that friction. Do you have any advice for anybody? Yeah, I come across this so much. The, yeah. kind of the excuses that we make, and I've made them as well. Yeah. Take the pressure off yourself that you need to be good at meditating. It's not about... Mm you know, blocking out thoughts, you don't need to be good at it at first or ever. You mm. know, there are times when I sit down to yeah. meditate and just think the whole time yeah. or feel really bored yeah. or frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually okay to do yeah. that. It's just 
the process mm. that is the benefit. So just mm. so it's kind doing. of like giving yourself the permission to not be perfect at meditation. Exactly. Even even if you're the beginner. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Good advice. Okay. So just on advice, what's the best advice that anybody's ever given you? So. My granny is quite an mm. amazing person. She's actually a meditation teacher. Wow. She's in her 70s and, no, she's 80 now, but in her 70s she went backpacking around India and rode mopeds and things. Nice, and she's I really, love that. She lives her life. She lives <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and she, she told me, so a few years ago I was working two jobs and working really late and not really taking care of myself and she said to me, Chloe, the time to enjoy your life is now. Oh, Don't I love it. Don't put it off. Don't put it off. And, I did eventually take that advice. And Amazing. I love that. More. I heard the other day or read the other day, it's always the right time to do the right thing. So it's kind of similar, nice. isn't it? Yeah. It's like enjoying yeah. the moment and do it now. Definitely. Yeah, I love that. Okay, and what did you have for breakfast? So I had a so smoothie. Nice. I had a nice. smoothie. I had some protein powder, some banana. Amazing. Some maca in there. I'm into Brilliant. all these powders at the yeah. moment. Um, it was really good. Yeah, actually guys, maca is a Peruvian root and it's an adaptogenic. I don't know if you know that, you probably do. Which basically means it supports the adrenal gland, so really good for stress management. Ooh, yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, didn't know that. yeah, well done. You know it all, really. <laughs> Great, well thank you so much. Do you want to just share with everybody, you know, where they can find more out about you? Yeah, so my oh. website is karma-u.com. Perfect. And I'm on Instagram, Chloe Brotheridge. Amazing, good. Thank you so much thank and uh, thanks for watching. Baby.